My name is Zerin Yumak. I'm a professor of computer science. My research is about embodied social AI, in particular virtual characters that are capable of natural interaction, uh, such as facial expressions, gestures, and gaze behavior, using data-driven approach and uh, deep learning algorithms. There is a variety of application areas. The first application area is, of course, gaming industry. It's not for only entertainment purposes, it's also uh, for health and education purposes, for example, uh, training nonverbal communication skills uh, or for therapy. Uh, one area that became important, uh, especially after COVID, is uh, online social communication. Large companies, they are going in that direction now to build a connected social VR world, the so-called metaverse, and virtual human technology will be a big part of this world. The labs uh, really allows us to for full uh, immersive uh, interaction, like for example, you can shake hands with, uh, with people or you can uh, play volleyball. So it's unique in the sense that you can use full body um, uh, for interaction. Uh, it's not only physical interaction, but also social interaction. I established the lab about one and a half years ago with the latest facial and body motion capture and VR equipment. The lab is the uh, only lab in the Netherlands at that scale and one of the few in the world. Hi, I am Kazin Zamamul Haq. I'm working as a PhD candidate uh, in the Human Centered uh, Computing Research Group at Utrecht University. I'm being supervised by uh, Dr. Zarin Yumak. My research is about data driven uh, animation synthesis uh, for digital humans. More specifically, now I'm working on audio driven facial animation generation. But down the road, uh, I would like to extend my research into multimodal data driven facial animation synthesis for digital humans. The lab allows me to collect natural human conversation data, which is uh, crucial for my research. There are a lot of data sets out there, uh, but these are video data sets, which are not um, uh, enough for my research. Uh, so uh, I need to uh, collect robust data that is captured with a motion capture device. There are different types of challenges in my research. Uh, the first challenge was, of course, the establishment of the lab. We talked with the vendors and uh, select the appropriate hardware and software and bring uh, all of this together to work smoothly. And that was a long journey. Data collection is a second uh, challenge. We need to find the actors to perform the right uh, type of motions and meticulously plan the data collection procedure. And after the data is collected, it's not enough. We have to post-process the data and think of ways to uh, store and maintain and release the data. The next challenge is uh, to develop uh, sophisticated algorithms to generate natural motion. And deep learning algorithms work uh, well for that. And it's a very uh, fast growing field. I'm Nabila Madhu. Um, I'm a master's student here at Utrecht University. Um, and I'm in the final stages of my master's thesis actually in the Game and Media Technology Master. The Motion Capture Lab is a big part of my master thesis and also of the Computer Animation course. Uh, the Computer Animation course is really, um, in my opinion, the most creative course that we have here at Utrecht University, where um, students are actually free to create something themselves. And here in the Motion Capture Lab is really where all the magic happens. My research is about the perception of virtual humans. In today's day and age, we are the level where we can really produce photorealistic virtual humans. And I'm researching um, whether we still perceive them as uncanny, and if we still perceive them as uncanny, why that is, so that we can um, better design and plan for uh, the integration of society at some point. We have completed the first phase for the lab, which was the installation of the lab, uh, hardware and software. Uh, and we also did one round of data collection experiments. The next step will be to open the doors of the lab. We are planning to uh, organize an open day uh, and we would like to enhance the activities in the lab and establish collaborations uh, with industry and societal partners.